Hello, this is Olive Aguas and welcome to my superfood kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a beautiful and very filling spirulina guacamole. Spirulina is the highest protein content food in the world. It's an algae and for 5,000 years in Mexico City they were using it as their main protein source. So it only makes sense to mix spirulina with guacamole. So we're going to start here with an avocado and I'm just going to show you how to pit an avocado. We're just going to cut, start here by cutting around and give it a nice light twist. There we go. Nice and ripe. And the next thing is we're just going to lightly cut here in the center, twist, and then we take the pit out. So next, I'm gonna show you how the fastest way to make guacamole. So we're actually gonna take a knife and lightly just follow it along into slices along the avocado. Try not to cut the, the skin. And then we're gonna turn it and actually do some more slices. take a bowl that we're actually going to mash the avocado in and we're just going to squeeze all the little squares out. Now it's already kind of pre-smushed which is great. And then we're just going to take a fork and give it a good mashing. There, nice and soft. And this, this is where you know it's nice ripe avocado. So we're just going to smash this up a little bit and this is way better than using any sort of mix. Fresh uh, guacamole is just gorgeous. Okay, now we have it kind of lightly smashed up and we're gonna add one uh, teaspoon of spirulina. Now, spirulina is a very strong flavor, so you can actually start with a teaspoon and work your way up to a tablespoon or more a day. So here we go, and if you have a look at it, it's this really vibrant color. I mean, this is just filled with uh, chlorella, full of vitality. Has a very strong scent, so don't be scared of it. So we're gonna add just a half a teaspoon here. And we're gonna sprinkle it over the top. And we're gonna add a little bit of salt as well. Go. Just a little bit of salt over the top just to bring out the flavor a little bit. And now we're gonna mix it all up together. It's gonna turn this really deep, vibrant green now because the spirulina has such a strong color, but actually that's, that's a really good sign. So here we are, we're getting it. It's getting really, really deep color. So here we are, and it's nice that there's just a little bit of green chunks in it. Shows that it's natural. So this is going to be the base for us. We're gonna take this and just use a spatula and put it here in the bottom of a bowl. I'm gonna show you the most, the perfect way of plating this. So we're gonna wipe this, spread this around the bottom of the bowl here. Next, we're going to add the other half of the avocado on the top. So we're gonna make little layers of this now. Again, we're gonna be slicing it down the sides and then giving it another turn and giving it some more slices. And then we're gonna be pushing this again over the top. Okay, and then we're gonna add different colors now. So, we're gonna add a tomato. Make sure you get the center bits out because this is not something we want to be eating. Now you can use half tomato, full tomato here. This is quite a small one, so we're gonna actually gonna be using the whole thing. And we're just gonna give it a nice rough chunk and right and uh, slices down it because we want each bite to have little pieces of the of the tomato. Pour that over the top. Next, we're going to be adding a the actual uh, chips to it. Now we're going to use carrots for this, which is great. So what I'm going to do is actually cut this carrot into slices, almost that you would use it to basically pick up the guacamole. So these are going to be your chips. It's the raw way of doing it. I actually uh, stumbled across this recipe. Uh, in the very beginning of when I started doing raw food. So I'm really happy to be sharing this with you because I would use this as a lunch. Add, add everything to it, even corn. And we're gonna feed this here along the sides here so then people can just grab straight into it. And we're gonna add, of course, a little bit of lime to it. This will help open up the flavor. We're gonna cut it straight down the center here because we want to show 
all the different segments. So we're going to give this a nice squeeze over the top. Okay, and there we go. There's my spirulina guacamole.